What's up guys, welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we are going to be doing a feeding video. We're going to be feeding all the fish in the Fancy Goldfish Fanatics house. So make sure you stay tuned to find out more. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. As always, check out those links in the description and make sure you've checked out our website, check out our t-shirts, they are now for sale. Today's video, we are gonna be doing a feeding in the Fancy Goldfish Fanatics house. I'm gonna be showing you what I feed to all of my fish all of their diets, all the different bits and pieces that they get. The sun is streaming through the window and I thought it would be a great time to get the camera out, get some lovely pictures of the goldfish, of the monster fish in the sunlight and just give all the fish a good feed. So right now I'm gonna show you all the different foods that I give my fish and then we will head around the house and see who is hungry. So without further ado, let's get to it. First up, it's gonna be the Top View Ranchu. Now the Top View Ranchu get a few different foods. Mainly their food is this high protein pellet. So I've got around half a kilo of pellets here, really fine pellets. I tend to keep the pellets in little uh, seasoning jars like this. It's really easy to feed. They've got little holes in so I can just shake them into the tank. Nice and simple. So I just keep them like that and keep the main bag sealed so it keeps them nice and fresh and they don't lose too much of their nutrients. So this is a high protein pellet from Heron's Food. I purchased it on eBay. If you want, let leave a comment down below and I will give you the link so you can have a little look at it. I chose this one because it's got really good ingredients. I believe it's got crab, spirulina, some good fish meal, I think uh, maybe some insect meal or some krill meal as well, some astaxanthin for colour. So it looked like a really good food and that's why I chose it. Also it had a really nice price point as well. Now they don't just get these but but they also get the good old Rapashi Super Gold. Now this is a great gel food and lots of you watching I'm sure will feed this Rapashi and they do different types as well for other fish and I think geckos and lizards as well. So this is the Rapashi Super Gold I give as well. And then finally they also get a bit of bloodworm every now and then. But I would say the staple for the Top View Ranchu is this high protein pellet food and the Rapashi. The next fish we are going to be feeding is the Ryukin and they get fast and grow. So this is fast and grow from Thailand. I'm actually nearly out of this bag. They've eaten quite a lot already. So this is, as you can see, 40% protein. And it was just the food I was giving a try. The fish seem to really love it. Uh, it's really small grain. I also keep it in a small jar, just like this here. And then I can just take a pinch out or a couple pinches and give them to the fish. Little and often, really. So this jar lasts around a week, something like that, maybe a bit less. And they basically just get that fast and grow at the moment. I'm trialing the Ryukins just on the fast and grow to see how they get on. And the Top View Rancher outside get that Rapashi and the Herons high protein food. As the water is cold outside, I'm trying to test the different foods against each other. The Rapashi is easier for them to eat and break down in that colder water. And the high protein fast and grow is good in the slightly warmer water and I want to see if there's any adverse effects, any swim bladder issues or any problems because I really want to sort of test out the hardiness of the Ryukins compared to the Top of the Ranchu and at the moment they both seem to be coping really well, no issues whatsoever. Now next up is the Better or Bumble Brutus the second as he is known here and I also give him some of this high protein pellet as it does have a bit of insect meal and some nice high protein ingredients. He also gets a few pellets a day. So I give him around four pellets a day. They're absolutely fine. He's doing absolutely great on it. And then he also gets bloodworm as well, which is a more natural diet for him. And now finally, we're gonna get onto the monster fish. So I'm gonna show you what they get as well. First up for the monster fish is this arowana food. Now I have been trying to feed this arowana food. As you can see, I've got another little shaker tub that I give to them. But he is a very, very fussy fish and he will only eat one or two pellets if he is super hungry. If I haven't fed him for a day, he might eat one or two, but he doesn't really like that. So to be honest, the geophagus tend to eat this food. The 
Dame and I, Earth Eaters, tend to eat this food when I put it on the surface if the arowana hasn't scared them away. And they also get another type of pellet. So the other type of pellets they get are these carnival sticks. Now, they, the arowana and the rays don't eat this. I was hoping they would eat it, but unfortunately they don't. The label has been ripped off a little bit, but a few of the ingredients are salmon fish meal, insect meal, krill, bloodworm, earthworm, brine shrimp, spirulina. There is so much in these carnival sticks and the geophagus really seem to like them. They actually go mental for them. And then I've just got some in a little glass tub like this, just to make feeding easy and to make sure I can keep the main bag sealed so it really holds those nutrients in. And now for the main diet of the monster tank, and that is raw king prawns and also cooked mussels. You can't get raw mussels unless they are still in their shells, and that would be an absolute long nightmare trying to take them out of their shells and feed them to the fish. So the ray and the arowana mainly eat these mussels and then also these king prawns. Now sometimes I get de-shelled king prawns when they're on offer, but Otherwise, they tend to just get these ones that have had the head removed on them. So generally, I will feed two to three king prawns and around five to six mussels every day for the stingray and the arowana. And then the arowana does get one final bit of food, which is kind of a treat for him. And they are Morio worms. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see them in here. They're quite stinky and they really smell, but they are like a really, really big mealworm they stink so they're like a really big mealworm a really crunchy insect larvae basically and the arowana absolutely loves them and goes mental for those so i have those in the tub and i keep that outside because it stinks so right now we're going to head round the fantasy goldfish fish house and we are going to be feeding all of the fish and seeing who is hungry so Without further ado, I'm gonna take you around and first off, we're gonna head outside to feed the Top View Ranchu. So here are the Top View Ranchu. There is currently six in here, if you didn't know already. I quickly did a video um, about a week ago on them, checking on their growth, etc. I'm just gonna give them some of those high protein pellets and they absolutely love them, eating them all off the bottom. They also love to eat algae. There's loads of algae in this pond. So when they're not eating the pellets, they absolutely love to graze on the algae. They can break it down really easily and it goes through them really nicely and they get some nice natural foods and natural ingredients basically. So here I'm just going to leave the rest of those pellets in there and they will just get through those throughout the next hour. Next I've got the Ryukin, so they're on the fast and grow food. They absolutely love this food and whenever I walk past the tank they always come up to the surface to get some and they will just pick through the sand grazing through this food which is a more natural way for them to eat. Now after we fed the Ryukin we are going to be feeding the better otherwise known as Bumble Brutus the second. So I'm going to move over to his tank now and let the Ryukin enjoy their food. Here I'm just giving him around four or five of those high protein pellets that we gave to the Top View Ranchu that I mentioned previously in the video. He absolutely loves these and whenever I come up to the tank he goes crazy, swimming around really fast waiting to get his food and then he will just go whizzing around the tank trying to get all of the bits of food. His eyes are definitely too big for his mouth but he's looking really healthy and as I mentioned I also give him some bloodworm which is quite natural and a more natural insect based food for him which is good for his digestive system and also his colours as well. Now this food also has some colour enhancers as well which will help keep his colours and make sure they are as vibrant and as lovely as possible. Next up we've got a couple of Morio worms that are going to the arowana. I tend to feed him first otherwise he eats all of the stingray food. So a couple of Morio worms for him and then he'll also eat some of the mussels and prawns for the stingrays. I'm also going to be giving the geophagus some pellets after the arowana has had his food. As you can see he is so aggressive when eating. Next up are those carnivore pellets. I introduced these as well for the geophagus before I feed the stingrays because it means they will eat less of that meaty food that is meant for the stingray. Now, after they've consumed that, I will then give them the prawns and mussels, which I chop up into 
medium sized pieces so hopefully the geophagus won't be able to eat them because that is the plan because the geophagus will eat absolutely everything that goes into the tank floating food sinking food pellets meaty foods everything so now you can see steve and raymond can smell that food in the water and they go crazy for it and they kind of turn into little donuts hovering over the food and trying to suck it all up before the other fish get to it they're always fighting for food but only play fighting and sometimes when they go up to the glass you can actually see them sucking and spitting the food out as they try and position it so it can go into their mouth you also may have just seen the arowana just had a little look at a piece of prawn on the sand bed and he will come around and pick up little bits of food here and there that the stingrays have missed so that's it we fed all of the tanks now they all, all the fish are looking absolutely happy and healthy and really active. They are really enjoying the sun that is coming through the windows and they are looking absolutely great. And I love sitting and watching them in the evenings. So I hope you enjoyed that feeding episode. Thought it was quite nice to give all the fish a feed, especially as the sun was coming out and streaming through the window and the fish look absolutely great in the sun. And the summer is coming, so all the fish are starting to wake up i.e. the ranch you outside that are starting to get more active and starting to put more weight on. So I hope you enjoyed this little fun, interesting episode. Thank you all for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping. <laughs> <laughs>